Welcome to Your Questions Answered. My name is Jason, the Wizard of Ops. Round Robin asks about the impact of SPX versus SPY with regards to Gamma. First, a little background on SPX and SPY. SPX is the Standard & Poor's 500, or the S&P 500. It is an index created by the CBOE. SPX has European-style options on the price of the index itself. SPY is the Spider S&P 500 ETF the largest and oldest exchange traded fund in the world. The value of one share of SPY is approximately 10% of SPX's current level. SPY is an American style option on the ETF's value. SPX is well known as the underlying with the highest average daily option notional value traded. However, when you look at the SPX notional gamma versus SPY notional gamma, it doesn't look that way. Notice the y-axis on the SPY DAG chart, then the y-axis on the SPX DAG chart. It would appear at first glance that SPY has doubled the impact of SPX. However, you must remember that the definition of gamma is the change in delta for every one point movement in the underlying. SPY is an ETF that tracks one tenth of SPX. Therefore, in order to compare the two, you have to multiply the SPX notional values by 10 to put them on equal terms. After this question was asked in my Discord group, someone else asked why we don't multiply it ourselves in Volund. And the answer is because it would compromise the integrity of the data. This exercise is only useful for comparing the SPX and SPY impact on the market. But individually, we want to keep the static measurements the same. I should also note that this is only applicable to gamma. Gamma is measured by point movement in the underlying, of which 10 SPX points equal 1 SPY point. But for Vanna and Charm, IV is measured the same way in both vehicles. So there is no conversion necessary. Join my Discord group and ask any questions you may have about Balm. I may select yours to answer in my next video. Thanks for watching this video and may Balm help you find success in your trading venture.